Well, the other big political story today continues to be the unprecedented face-off between two chief ministers, the chief ministers of Andhra Pradesh, Chandra Babu Naidu, and the chief minister of Telangana, K. Chandrasekhar Rao, over a cash-for-vote scandal. Mr. Chandra Babu Naidu has told NDTV in an exclusive interview that if the Telangana government tries to arrest him, it would be the end of KCR's regime if there is any attempt made to arrest him. The deputy chief minister of Telangana has hit back saying that they don't indulge in activities that they've been accused of, such as tapping telephones. And a record 79 cases have now been booked against K. Chandrasekhar Rao in Andhra Pradesh for alleged phone tapping. Even every day he is leaking to the newspapers, he is going to arrest me. Who are you? I am asking. It is a common capital. What is the right you are having? You are having police, I am having police. You are having ACB, I am having ACB. And do you fear the arrests of the what is the what, Why should I fear? What is the guts is having? What is the rule is having? Who are you? Who, are, who is he? If you do like that, he will be. That is the last day for him, for his government. Digga sir, वो फोन टैपिंग हुआ या नहीं है, मगर हमारे से कोई दाखल नहीं है. अगर आप उनको गिरफ्तार करने की कोशिश करेंगे, तो आपकी सरकार गिर जाएगी. चंद्रा वो नेटर साहब को अपनी सरकार को बचा लीजिए वही बेहतर है हमारी सरकार गिरेगी ना गिरेगी वो उस चंद्र का क्या दखल है How is this impasse between these two states going to end and what is the political fallout likely to be Joining us on the program tonight is Ram Mohan Naidu Lok Sabha MP of the TDP Mr Keshav Rao leader of the TRS We have Mr Tom Vadakan spokesperson of the Congress party and Mr Kinshuk Nag resident editor of the Times of India in Hyderabad joining us on the program tonight Let me take this to you first Mr Kinshuk Nag what really is going to be uh, the resolution of, of this impasse? Because here you have an unprecedented situation of two chief ministers of two prominent states at loggerheads. What's the way out? I think the way out has to be found by New Delhi because there are two warring camps. These two governments and these two gentlemen will keep on fighting till somebody comes like a big brother and says, look, hey guys, separate. We are going to see what's going to happen. Because don't forget that the genesis of this problem is not today, but 15 years ago, when Mr. KCR was with Chandra Babu Naidu. In 1999, Chandra Babu Naidu won the election. At that time, it was expected that he will not win, and KCR is supposed to have been the man who was responsible for his win. After that, Mr. KCR was just offered a post of Deputy Speaker, and he was very miffed. After that, when the three states of Chhattisgarh, Jharkhand and, uh, were created, KCR saw his opportunity and started his party, the Telangana Rashtra Samiti, on April 27, 2000. And thereafter, it has been this tension between the two has been there. And now, 15 years later, as the new state has become a reality, is still that there, there are tension between the two. And I think Mr. K. Chandrasekhar Rao does not want Mr. Chandra Babu Naidu in any way to be connected with Hyderabad, though Hyderabad is a common capital. And Mr. Chandra Babu Naidu is not ready to walk out of Hyderabad just now. And that's the problem. All right, all right. So you're, you're saying that unless yeah. the centre intervenes, there is not going to be an end to this impasse. But I'd like to ask Mr. Keshav Rao of the TRS. Mr. Rao, the question is that what, what the TDP alleges is A, they're saying that this is not Mr. Naidu's voice on this tape. Secondly, that it aired on a television channel uh, that has its links known to, to the Telangana government. Uh, how do we know that there is a fair investigation that is being conducted in this? Well, there are three clues. I don't know why you are complicating the entire. It is the simplest case of a criminality. Number one, question one you asked this, it is not his voice. Did care? Let Chandra Babu say under 162, it is not his voice. I would rather accept it. Now, whether it is his voice or not, to, tomorrow the forensic will say. The moment the forensic labs say that it is his voice, will he quit? One. Number two, the question today is not about the voice. Let me tell you, this is a simple case of a, a case filed under IPC 2003. Now, the ca case is two uh, things are raised by you. One is there is a tap phone, uh, phone tapping. Under you said the Stingo operation. The phone tapping, both of them are non-existent. There is no scope nor need for them. Because this phone is issued by a man who is a, himself a complainant. He's a complainant. He received the phone. He doesn't tap his phone. It is a phone that received by Mr. Stevenson, who is a complainant, who went and told the police. So there is no need for any tapping. No th third party in between came and intercepted the phone. So there is nothing like a tapping at all. Now, 
as far as sting operation is concerned, there is no need for sting operation because the complainant, Mr. Stevenson, two days earlier went to the police, is in a public domain, gave the application, said such and such thing is happening and developing. So it is all open. Mr. King Nog, who had all the wrong things, uh, the history with him now, uh, he has reported that this complaint was made. So the complaint is there. So what is the secretary showing it? Surrounding it, there's no secrecy. So there's neither sting nor any tapping. Now, what happens? Third case is in any criminal case, whenever I go and complain if to a police, if this is Mr. Naidu's is voice, then how did duty. that tape come about? If this is Mr. Naidu's voice, how did that there tape come it, about? I have received the phone. Great lady, I have received the phone. I have complained against you and you rang me up. And you, today I can as well have a phone, Chandra now it is a mobile Naidu phone, it is not the old days of 14,000, I can as well record it, if it is, government. I don't know. We, on behalf of the TDP right, government I... and on behalf of Andhra Pradesh government, we are saying that it is a deliberate attempt by the TRS government. No, but they are saying, uh, you know, this is now a question of he said, she said, Mr. Naidu, the, you know, the TRS government is saying that we didn't tap it any is, phones. It is, not, it, is not, it is not the voice, it's not the voice of Chandra Babu Naidu. The people who are claiming it to be the voice, they have to answer how did they get the tapes? How did they get the tapes of uh, uh, no, Chief no, Minister? No, no. They are completely But Mr. Naidu, my question to you is that this is also no. a very serious allegation involving the Chief Minister, Mr. Naidu. And is it something that the, that the TDP can just completely wash its hands off and say it's not his voice and he's not involved? This is a serious matter. See, this is, this, is, this is not just washing its hands off. This is justice has to prevail. And we are saying we have followed democratic principles and we are saying that uh, we, are, we haven't done anything wrong. All this has been fabricated and it is a deliberate attempt uh, to defame the party. And our CM uh, Chandra Babu Naidu, it is a, no. it's a fake uh, voice, no, it's us, not the voice of Nidhi, CBN. We, Nidhi, are saying, we are saying that the thorough, Nidhi, thorough uh, uh, inquiry All has right, to be Mr. done Rao, on this. And then I'll come they to have Mr. to answer. People who are claiming, Only people one, who one are sentence. claiming this to be his voice, Ramu, they have to answer. How did they get the tapes? Ramu, How did they get Ramu, the tapes? Ramu, bear, bear me with me two questions today. One, if it is not his voice, let us give it to forensic. Over. Let us close the chapter. Let us close yes, all yes, the TV yes. shows. Let us, let us take it to the number two. How Why, did we get? Now, yes. You just said you have no idea, Ramu. Let us not do. All right, the forensic will tell us. So let us keep going. Till today, the, yes. the, we have never come on to the TV, not the press, stating anything. Neither the chief minister, nor myself, or any important responsible functionary of the TRS had gone on to the press speaking about this. Anyhow. I know it's a simple case. As a lawyer, I know Tom would tell you, bear me out. Once a case is put, uh, filed with a one letter is filed the police, yes, we are also saying the same thing. Let the forensic report come out and collect the police. Let there be a thorough please, please, uh, inquiry please, please. being done. Hear okay, me. okay. But let, please let, hear let, me. One second. Let I me, heard. Let, please I, hear I, me. You hear me. One you sentence. Both made your now, let me just the ask police Mr. has to here. collect the evidence. Mr. Vadakan, what is baffling then here is who in the centre is intervening to to you know step in and save the situation. Like I, I said, unprecedented case of two chief ministers clashing this way. Lady, I think yesterday in our press conference, we asked for a judicial uh, inquiry into it so that the due process of law is followed. I'm surprised on this. I heard my uh, old friend Keshav Ravji saying, neither is it a sting nor a tapping. I thought it was an introduction of the Gujarat model. Then we had uh, this epidemic in Delhi which was also planned, that there were plans of snooping. Now, be what it may, if it is not a sting operation, if it is not a telephone tapping, I mean, there is a, there is a dead body and they say there is no murder committed. Be what it may, the truth must come out. Let there be a judicial uh, uh, inquiry into it at the highest level and the truth will come out. Now, uh, whether Ch KC are, uh, party is correct, or Chandra Babu Naidu is correct on this matter. Let the judiciary decide. This is not an intervention oh, of interested right. Nidhi, party. Nidhi, Tom. Mr. Rao, isn't that a fair friend, point? Tom, Let there be I a agree with you. I, I, absolutely, yes, yes. absolutely. A, B, S, O, L, U, T, E, L, Y. I just have no <laughs> grounds, no grievance. I want it to be probed either by judicial probe or by Tom or by you or by forensic or by any power on the earth including Mr. Nag. I want it to be to, to come and out. One. one more Number point. two. Tom Did got me wrong. Me what I am saying is 
No, no, but Mr. Naidu, I let me ask you this. Mr. Rao, let, let, let me just get everybody in. Mr. Naidu, when, when Mr. Chandra Babu Naidu tells NDTV that it will be the end of KCR's regime if he tries to arrest him, what does he mean? What does he mean by that threat? See, he he has been framing if if the uh, if the uh, charges that has been made right now that he it is his voice, it has we are saying it's a fake voice. Who has who has doctrined this? Who has doctrined these tapes? Who is behind this? We are saying it is the TRS government. That is why when this is proved, once the judiciary probe is done, the TRS government is going to come out as the culprit. That is why he is so damn confident that the TRS government is going to go to jail. Let me ask Mr. Kinshuk Nag though that Mr. Nag. You know, what is the political backstory to this? The fact is that Mr. Chandrababu Naidu is also politically on the back foot currently in terms of, you know, the kind of promises he had made, uh, you know, to his state when he was, you know, taking oath as chief minister. You know, he's being, uh, you know, criticized today for not living up to those promises uh, and in a sense doesn't have that clout, kind of clout within the NDA that he perhaps had when he was in this alliance earlier. What, what, how, how do you see this playing out then under the circumstances? There are two things to this. One is that Hyderabad is a bone of contention still. Because Mr. K. Chandrasekhar Rao is Hyderabad, he is in a financially in a good position and he has been, a lot of money is there, he is getting a lot of investments. And because, contrary-wise, because Mr. Naidu does not have Hyderabad, his woes are due to the fact that he doesn't have Hyderabad, so he doesn't have any revenue. Today, Andhra Pradesh is fiscally one of the worst states in the country and Telangana is one of the best states in the country fiscally. So this is, the, uh, this is number one. Number two, Mr. Chandrasekhar Rao has been, his TRS has been poaching all sorts of MLAs from all sorts of parties and he began his innings with 61 seats, he won out of 119 and today after a year he has got 75 MLAs. Five of these MLAs have been poached from TRS, uh, from uh, TDP, six from Congress and from various other parties. So when this happened I think TDP was very annoyed and whatever we saw on the tapes, actually I don't think there are tapes, uh, uh, whatever has been alleged, uh, so this was a counter move by TDP as I see it. Well, Mr. Naidu, so let me I'm ask both you and Mr. Rao this final question, which is that how, you know, these are two chief ministers bickering, Mr. Naidu. How does this end? How does this look? See, after the division, we've always said, like the other uh, gentleman is saying right now, Andhra Pradesh is one of the worst states right now and we want all the other states to support us. We want the center to support us and we are lending our best hand possible to Telangana government and they are doing all these kinds of things. They are playing all kinds of gimmicks. They are, they, are the, they are the government right now who are not able to fulfill the promises of the Telangana people and to divert the attention of the Telangana people, they are playing all these kinds of gimmicks. They are, they are going to face serious allegations for this. And Mr. Vardikan, what about the, the role, uh, the, uh, the accusation that the Congress is playing its own politics here in these states? Nidhi, where is the question of Congress playing politics? I mean, our position <laughs> is very clear. Let a judicial com uh, uh, inquiry come into it and let the truth come out. I mean, this is no political. You make prom huge promises to the people and then you snoop on each other and you make cases and you divert attention. Where is the question of the Congress party diverting attention? We are asking for a judicial inquiry and let the judiciary take its view Everybody and we will accept for it. A judicial inquiry. <laughs> well, as, as Mr. Rao put it, and I don't think anyone can put it better than that, uh, he's saying like, they're ready for any kind of probe, uh, including by Kinshuk Nag uh, and, and, and anyone uh, else who's last, willing to come word, forward. Yes, word. Mr. Rao, last 10 seconds. One last sentence. I totally agree with Tom. Congress has nothing to do with this. This is a simple case. There is no bickering between. We are silent. We want the probe to take place. We want the police to do its job. Laws to take its own courts. That is enough. Yes. And we have nothing the against the Andhra courts. men or Andhra people. All right. Well, it continues Let to be a big political court. story uh, that we will continue to track. Thank you very much to all of you for joining us on the program tonight. That's it on the show this evening. We'll see you all again tomorrow. Goodbye.